Hi Cancer, welcome to April 2016. And you are getting a fresh start in the area of your career this month. You have the Aries new moon happening for you in your 10th house. You get one new moon a year there and one full moon a year. And this is a very fiery moon, it has a lot of energy. So there's a lot going on with your destiny in the world, your reputation in the world, your career legacy, your achievement, what you're going after in your work, in your business, in your career. And it's very exciting. So there's a lot of firepower going into April these first three weeks. Now this Aries moon does have to pass over Pluto and it does have to pass over Uranus. It will exactly conjunct Uranus on the 9th. It, the Sun squares Pluto on the 6th. So, you know, there can be some power struggles with people. Do what's right for you. You're being, you're, you're a leader this month. So others are looking to you for leadership. And your inner light is burning bright. So you're radiating all this light and it's attracting people to you. And it's very exciting. So there's, there's several themes happening here in April. One is this Aries firepower, which is new start, new beginning. Perhaps you're launching something new in April. You could be getting a promotion. Your business could be expanding. There's also another theme happening here at the same time, and it has to do with Neptune and Pisces, Jupiter and Virgo, and Mars and Saturn in Sagittarius. They're forming a powerful T-square. And whenever there's a T, there's always a missing leg. And so the way out is through Gemini. And for you, that is the 12th house, which means working behind the scenes. And, you know, so if you find that people are getting too overwhelming this month, make time for yourself. Get away from people. Get away from the crowd. Get away from, uh, you know, the way people are behaving this month because it could be a bit um, overwhelming for you at times because there's so much going on this month and it's affecting everybody and for you it's about just withdrawing away from others to regain your strength and clarity so that you're not getting caught up in other people's uh, questions, concerns, you know, because they're looking to you for leadership, but you got to keep some for you too. You can't just give it all away, then you have nothing left, then you're exhausted, then you don't feel good. So fill your cup first, take care of you, then you are available for others, but make sure they're not running over your boundaries. Yes, that's it. I see boundaries as an issue for you this month because there's so much happening with everybody and the spotlight is on your destiny in the world and your profession in the world so people are looking to you for leadership and you want to make sure that you're getting your needs met and acting effectively and not just losing energy in every direction because there's so many people wanting your attention and wanting something from you. And this mutable energy is going on in April and it's going on in May and it's a very strong theme. For you it has to do with how you're working with your mind, your conscious awareness, your super conscious mind, as well as how you're taking care of yourself as well as how you're creating that, that time for yourself and also finishing unfinished business that you may not have completed. Okay, and so Mars is going retrograde on the 17th and he will go direct June 29th. Now this isn't uncommon, Mars retrogrades every two years and here he is uh, taking his turn to reverse 
in Sagittarius and that for you brings the action to your health, your well-being, your vitality, your work. So here we have another work theme going on here. And you want to, yes, create sac the sacred space for yourself. So you're creating the sacred space for yourself so that you can retreat into your sacred space and recharge your batteries, re-energize yourself. But also with Mars in reverse in this area, it's really important to look at how you're using your energy. Are you letting others just, you know, take up your time and, and ask you all kinds of dumb questions that have nothing to do with anything you're trying to accomplish um, and not focusing on your work? Really look at, you know, where your boundaries are, who's running over your boundaries, and how that's interfering with your well-being as well as your effectiveness to finish your work, to achieve your goals, to, uh, you know, finish things. And so... You want to look at how you're using your energy and taking care of yourself. Your wealth is in your health. You know, Saturn is in positive energy flow with this uh, Aries new moon, which is very supportive for you. So you could be getting some sort of promotion here this month. You could be moving up in the work that you do, whether it's the company you own or the company you work for, you can be moving up in what you're doing. There's a lot of support here for you, a lot of firepower support. You're very fiery when it comes to your work and your values. So don't let others distract you with their agendas, and no one is more important with you, with, than you. Without you, what do we have, right? So remember that. It starts with you. And if you've got to pull back into the shell, then do it. Because if it gets crazy out here, with all this fire energy flying around and Mars going retrograde and the mutable being activated, uh, the, the Pisces, the Virgos, the Sagittarians, then, you know, take time for yourself and get away from it all. Absolutely. Now, there's a Scorpio full moon on the 21st, and Scorpio is your sister sign, so you're going to like this moon. And it happens in the very fun part of your life, the area of true love and romance, creative self-expression, risk-taking, self-confidence. Sun enters Taurus on the 19th. That brings the energy to your goals, the money you make from the business you own, or the money you make from the company you work for your friends, your hopes and wishes, and Taurus, sextiles Cancer, Scorpio, trines Cancer, positive energy flow. So that is going to feel really good for you. You're going to really enjoy the Scorpio full moon. And I don't see any challenges to that full moon. Yes, it's an opposition. Oppositions are awarenesses that come to us from external circumstances, situations, people. The action again is with the immutable, especially here at the Scorpio full moon where we have Mars retrograde and Saturn in Sagittarius forming a powerful T-square with the Jupiter in Virgo and Neptune in Pisces. Again, the way out is through Gemini. And there's something else happening which is really exciting and that has to do with a grand Earth trine. Now Mercury the messenger enters Taurus on the 5th. And Mercury goes retrograde on the 28th of April and will go direct May 22nd. During the cycle, and this really kicks in at the Scorpio full moon, Mercury is forming a grand earth trine. This is fantastic for everyone. And it is in positive energy flow with Pluto and Capricorn, Jupiter and Virgo. And Earth is healing. Earth is abundance. It's money. It's prosperity. And it's happening here this last 10 days in April. And then it's on till May 22nd, even a little further than that. So this is going to be bringing people 
opportunity for prosperity and this is happening for you in the money you make from the work you do so it's money coming to you through the business you own or where you work it's money coming to you through other people it's money coming to you for those of you that are communicators that are speakers writers coaches astrologers healers anything you're doing with Jupiter in Virgo that has to do with getting the word out about your products and services getting the word out about your business that you own this is the time to do it this is about prosperity and abundance for you using your speaking skills using your communication skills using social media using networking using other people to spread the word about what you do so when they come to give you their monkey give them yours and give them a couple more too so when they come to you for something give them something for you for them to do for you and then watch how it just flies and you attract new clients new customers new patients and it's all about increasing your prosperity the universe always provides a way out whenever we're being challenged and with this mutable t-square mercury in Taurus is empowering you to use your skills to create greater wealth and abundance and it really starts kicking in when that Sun goes into Taurus and then the Scorpio full moon on the 22nd and then mercury retrograde is actually a good thing because the whole time he's retrograde he is in this grand earth trine with Jupiter and Pluto and that's opportunity that is prosperity abundance and working with others so you want to make sure that others aren't coming to you dumping their issues on you or their needs on you and you're getting lost in what they're wanting and have an agenda right focus on your goals this month especially at that Scorpio full moon when that Sun enters Taurus and the next month we'll talk about it with the Taurus new moon focus on what you're trying to achieve this year what are you trying to accomplish this year in your career in your destiny in the world and use this energy to make it happen to go after what you want you are a leader this month others are looking to you and your light is shining so bright that you're going to be attracting a lot of people to you but don't let them distract you from what you're trying to accomplish don't let other people's agendas distract you from your needs your goals in your time you want to use this time to make things happen and you know if you're gonna launch a new business or you're gonna do something new you know if you can get it done by the 17th grade but certainly get it done by the 28th before mercury goes retrograde but I do like this retrograde because it is forming this grand earth trine with Jupiter and Pluto which is prosperity and abundance and for you it's happening right in one of your money houses and that means there's money coming to you especially through the work that you do it can also come to you through your partner or your spouse could be um, bringing in more money which is always welcomed <laughs> and exciting so for those of you looking for love the Scorpio full moon is definitely lightning lighting that part up for you um, and that happens on the 21st so when the Sun goes into Taurus those love areas of your life start to light up and so it's on for you by the third week and money looks excellent for you this month and for some of you you're moving up in what you're doing you're getting some sort of promotion you're getting a fresh start in the area of your legacy in the world your 
profession in the world and it's about career success I really like what I'm seeing here and for those of you that own your own business this is a time to get the word out like to really do some uh, marketing and networking and let others know hey I'm here and I'm doing XYZ absolutely fantastic time for you to do that spiritually it is on for you you have Neptune in that area and it's it's he's like the tail on the kite if we if we uh, take the uh, Grand Earth trine and we put Neptune as the tail so it's like cancer move through your spiritual before you do anything connect to your higher self connect to your higher consciousness connect to your inner being and run whatever you want to do through that higher self right so ask your higher self is this a good choice for me is this a good decision for me for me to make and allow for things to be shown to you and you will be shown right so spiritually this is a wonderful month for you to really tap into your higher self your inner being and use that inner being to make your choices how is your health Mars going reverse in this area and of course Saturn has been there it can be very testy right so things can come up that need to be addressed and so you want to make sure that you're taking extreme self-care as I say to everyone your wealth is in your health the better you feel the more you can do the more you can do the more you attract and this is a time of abundance this is a time of bringing the abundance in this is the time of bringing the prosperity in and abundance yes is money but it's also opportunities uh, love freedom travel whatever you value whatever your heart's desire is that is your abundance and so this is the time to expand into those areas that bring you the greatest joy it's very exciting especially in the career so thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for liking favoring sharing and Google Plus in my podcast cancer you're so awesome thank you for subscribing you totally rock and if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your astrology it's very easy the link is below in the show more section you go to my astrology page you purchase session upon checkout you get the link to my schedule and we're working together so until next time cancer your inner light is burning bright